What's up guys, it's your favorite QB coach. Welcome to another professional golf swing analysis. Today we're going to be analyzing Rio Yishikawa. We're going to talk about what he did differently to win the PGA Championship in 2019. So, let's go do this thing. Alright guys, so if you guys are new to Mike's OG Academy, we do everything you guys need to know about golf instruction. So if you're looking for anything about the golf swing, anything to really get you better as a student, make sure to go hit that little red subscribe button because we do videos like these, hopefully weekly soon. So hopping into this golf swing analysis of Rio Ishikawa, what we're going to typically do with this to start off is kind of show a few differences here and there between his 2019 swing and then when he was not playing so well back a couple years ago. Now we got an Instagram poll and a lot of you guys filled out some um, basically questions that you wanted to hear and I, th I think the main majority of the questions was what were the differences between his swing two years ago and his swing now because I know he made some references to hitting the golf ball further as well as he's obviously hitting it a lot better to be winning, correct? So we're going to kind of go over those. Um, a little disclaimer too, obviously I know these videos are from different angles but I still think you can kind of see some really small differences. And then the second part of this video, I'm going to compare him to another tour player that we like. And we're going to kind of show maybe some more or different ideas that he could do to get a little bit more of the preference of rotation that we prefer. So anyways, let's hop in. So on the left of the screen here, the one that's moving right now, this is Rio Ishikawa a couple of years ago in the U.S. Open. I think this might have been Chambers Bay. But what we're going to see with Rio back in the day is I think he had maybe just a slightly different pivot on the way back. He still has a longer backswing, like if we go compare him to where he was in when he won in 2019, he still has that long backswing, but I think the pivot is slightly different. I think he's getting maybe a little bit more shoulder churn or getting that sternum a little bit more this way as opposed to this way where it was back in the day. Other than that, nothing really too different from these two swings. Now on the way down... I think going into position five, I think Rio's opening maybe a little bit more than he is uh, was back in his old days two years ago. And then coming into the golf ball, I think it's a pretty similar move. Now there's some subtle differences. You could argue maybe he's opening up a little bit more or he's opening up a little bit differently. But honestly, I think the swing is pretty much the same. I think a lot of what he's feeling might be a little bit a little bit of a change in numbers on track man. He might be a little bit less in to out possibly would probably be the main difference I would see. Uh, other than that, it's so minimal. It's for you guys at home, especially uh, the students out there, you're probably not going to be able to see the difference between these two swings. If anything, to sum it up, one of them, I think his chest is moving a little bit more, which is the 2019 one, the one over here. And then the one over here, I think that he, his chest might have been a little bit more stalled out. But it's so minimal that it, I don't really think it affects it that much. So to really answer your questions on what has changed, <laughs> very little has changed, guys. I just think it's more so placebo, which just in, in America that means that he's mentally thinking he's doing something different, which is causing him to play better. Sometimes we see with players, if you change like a little thing here, a little thing there, it just makes them feel a little bit more confident, which then in turn makes them feel more confident on the course, which confidence breeds good golf essentially right now mechanics usually is a fix to help players get more confident so for him I think he might have changed that little thing maybe feel like he's rotating a tiny bit more but realistically if you break down the two golf swings from old to new you really don't see that big of a difference at all so I don't think he's making that big of a change now the second part of this video where I really want to go into is possibly some ideas of what he should do to get rid of the hook because I know he won the PGA Championship, but we did still see that nasty little hook of his that tends to pop up whenever he's not playing very well. So this next section that we're going to hop into, we're going to talk about how he could get rid of that hook, which is moving the middle of his body slightly different. So let's go hop into that. All right, guys, so this is going to be the most interesting part of the analysis for you. This is going to be Cameron Champ, which is on the right of the screen, versus Rio Ishikawa. Now the reason why we bring up Cameron Champ's swing, there's really two reasons. First reason is he hits the ball incredibly far. And I know that that's something that Rio Ishikawa wants to do a little bit more up, get a little bit more distance so he can, if you have more distance, essentially stroke skiing tells us that we're going to have shorter clubs into the hole. We're probably going to have a better chance of having closer looks at birdie. Now the second reason why I pick Cameron Champ is because he hits a cut predominantly, right? A left or right shot. And we all know that Rio Ishikawa, 
maybe doesn't necessarily want to hit a cut, but he does want to get rid of his hook. So when you have a player that hits a hook, a good place to start is let's model him after a player that has a cut swing. We're going to neutral him out for a little bit, and then he can start working back to a draw model if he wants. But again, I think that Ryo Ishikawa, if he can kind of work on what we're talking about in this video, I think he's really going to see a difference in change of ball flight. We're going to start seeing his hooks, instead of them being 15 yards left, maybe we're going to start seeing some just little baby draws that are 5 yards left. Again, we're not trying to completely get rid of the hook. It's always going to be there. We're trying to minimize the miss or the lateral dispersion. So anyways, keeping that in mind, let's go hop into this. So we got Ryo Ishikawa with a lead arm parallel position 5. We got Cameron Champ at position 5 as well. Now the first main thing I want to talk about is going to be the sequencing between the, I call it the sternum, which is really the middle of the chest and the middle of the pelvis. So if we can get this relationship correct, I think for Rio, we're going to see a huge change in the, his ability to keep his chest moving through the shot and then ultimately get his swing direction more to the left, which I think is going to get his path more left, which hopefully will get him closer to that zero number, which will ultimately, I think, allow him to completely get rid of the massive miss to the left. He'll still have a little miss to the left, but I think he'll have a lot less of it, which is what we're trying to do with professional golf. Golfers. So first off, let's go show you guys that Ryo Ishikawa is actually stuck from position, right around position 7 through about position 8. We're not going to really see his chest move that much, so let's go get him down close to that position, and I want you guys to watch his chest real quick, real zoom in. And let's just see how from here to here, his chest is moving a little bit, but there's not a lot of chest rotation, right? See this right here? Chest is not really moving, hands and arms are kind of taking over. If we go take a look at the right hand, the right hand is overtaking the left, right? And really, there's not a whole lot of rotation through here, which that tends to tell us that that player had a swing direction to the right, as well as a high rate of closure. Now, if we go take a look at Cameron Champ, this is what I would recommend for Rio to start doing. But let's just show you kind of the difference in look. So if we get him to impact right around kind of here, and then we go get Rio back to impact as well. We're going to kind of go click by click with these players so you can kind of see the difference. So if we go do a couple clicks here, I want you to start looking at the chest movement compared to Cameron Champ. Now look at the chest, continue to move with Champ. Look at the difference in wrist angles, by the way, guys. And then look how Cameron at this position has the chest continually move. Rio has still not quite released the chest. If we keep going, we're going to see a similar story. So right about here, Cameron's pretty much almost fully rotated towards the target with his chest. Rio is now starting to kind of move and rotate his chest through the ball. So essentially... Rio's stuck from here to here. He's stuck, which means he's losing control over the club face. The toe is churning over rapidly. Cameron from here has a little bit more of a different sequencing into the ball, and we see that his chest is moving a little bit more, as well as he's using the wrist slightly different as well, right? So let's go kind of break those down really quickly for you guys and give you guys maybe just a little bit more detailed information about it. So when I was talking about earlier I said sequence of rotation right the relationship between the sternum and pelvis I'm really talking about lateral bends as well as how much are the hips open relative to the sternum. So if we go take a look at Rio right around position 6 I would argue that compared to Cameron Champ, it's slightly different, and I will, uh, let me kind of explain why. So if we go take a look at the belt buckle, arguably what I would say is Cameron's hip line is not as open as Rio's at this point. Now the camera angles are slightly different, so it is a little bit harder to tell, but I would argue that Rio maybe has his hip line a little bit more open, and then I would ar also argue that Rio also has his chest a little bit more closed. So essentially what is he doing? That means that whenever the chest is really closed compared to how open the hips are, right around impact, if you do it like Rio is, you're essentially going to see that the chest can't rotate because the ball and socket idea we always talk about is locked in place. So if we go take a look here, we can really see that. So if we go zoom in on his hip, we can really see that that is literally just posted up there. Now watch this. So as we start getting into right about here, now we're going to start seeing the ball and socket idea go down. 
and then from here his chest can move see see how the hip started to lower that means that right about here if you guys zoom in here and look see how it starts to lower a little bit and then his chest is able to go through the shot that's the ball and socket idea right so the ball is up towards the top of the socket here then it goes down and then his chest is able to move through the shot so he's doing it a lot later than camera champ is and the reason why is because his sequencing is off so if your hips outrace the chest quite a bit you're gonna get that ball towards the top of the socket you're gonna be stuck you're not gonna be able to release if we go take a look at Cameron here we're gonna see that his is stuck right there and then it goes right there right so watch this through impact see how it continues to turn 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 now this is after impact mind you guys right now it's getting to stuck at the top and then it goes down again so his chest can move through right what was the difference well the difference was that ball got towards the top of the socket later in the golf swing Rios was much earlier right so Rios got stuck right about here right before impact Cameron's got stuck right after impact and then from here it goes back down and his chest continues to rotate through so what does that mean in terms of controlling the club face I think it means that he's gonna have a lot better chance of controlling the club face so for the people watching at home that look like Rio's swing and struggles with a hook, what would I recommend? Well, the first thing I would recommend is doing my favorite drill that we do with our students all the time. And we're going to have some future videos where we demonstrate this drill that we've done with students. Essentially, what I would recommend you guys to do is in transition, I would make sure that your hips feel like they're staying closed for a split second and then that your chest is rotating first now technically this is not correct and you should not actually do this if you actually get the chest to move first but for a drill especially for a player who tends to get the hips out racing the chest it's a great feel for you guys to get you early extenders out there I need you guys to do this so essentially you need to feel like in transition you're keeping the hips closed for like a really split second and in that split second instead of having the hips move open you're having the chest move open what is that going to essentially do it's going to get you into camera champs position to where your chest and your pelvis are more so in a line and there's not as much distance or x factor or shearing between the two and essentially what that's going to allow you to do is cover the ball a bit more and you're going to be able to rotate more through the shot if you get like Rio where your hips really outrace your upper body you're gonna get that ball towards the top of the socket early right about here in the downswing and that just means that through impact you're not gonna be able to rotate your chest and you're gonna be stalled out all the way from here to about here which is one of the most important parts of the golf swing to not be stalled out if you're trying to control the club face again if we see Cameron Champ we can see that his pelvis line is rotating, 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 and now it stops, right? Right after impact. It's not stopping anywhere before impact. See how he continues to turn? And then now it stops. Rio, his stops right here, and then we see the arms take over, and then it starts going again. So again, if you guys can get that sequencing down, I think it's really going to help. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Again, make sure to subscribe because we got some more professional golf swing videos coming your way. And hopefully you guys enjoy.